How are we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills, back with another cooking video. And today, we'll be making whole striped bass on the Santa Maria style grill by Sunterra Outdoors. Now, for this cook, it'll be really easy to do. I'm very excited because we get a chance to do a wood oak fire on these two beautiful bass fish. So what we have is two three pound striped whole bass fish one here, about three pounds on one, two and a half on the other. So this is what we'll be putting on the Santa Maria style grill today. Uh, I'll definitely show you all the seasonings. So starting off, you know, we're gonna build flavors up around this fish. We're already gonna hit it with the beautiful oak smoke wood. So we're gonna get that woody flavor and woody tones on these bass. But as far as our other ingredients that we're gonna stuff it with and build more flavor will be parsley, thyme, lime, onion or scallions, jalapeno pepper, can't have grilled fish without lemon, and last but not least, we will have beautiful, awesome garlic. Now, what I'm planning on doing with this cook is making a butter type um, spread that we're gonna put on top of this fish, uh, and then some of these fresh herbs will go directly inside the fish along with some of the lemon. So I'll take you to the cutting board like we always do, take you step by step, I'll also show you how to prep this fish. Now, my local butcher has already scaled the fish, but we're gonna cut some of the fins and do some of the things to get it prepped and ready for the grill. So as always, thank you for joining me. We'll head out, get the Santa Maria style grill started because that's where most of the time comes in. Then we'll come back in and go to the cutting board. So as always, thanks for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, YouTube, so what I wanted to show you is another addition. I haven't done a review on this, but um, you've probably seen this before. This is called a Luft lighter. So I've kind of upped my game a little bit because what I did was purchase this so I can get away from uh, some of the wax cubes and, and different things that take a little longer uh, to ignite your fire. So with the Santa Maria, it already takes about 20 to 25 minutes for it to get uh, ashed over and ready to cook on. This will cut it in half. So I'll show you how this works real quick, but ultimately you just have a handle. I've already plugged into my receptacle. So we have the regular um, 120 volt uh, receptacle that, that I've plugged into and then it's just a matter of pushing the button you push the button and then you hold it right on the source that you want to catch fire so we'll do that right now now the idea behind this is once that area starts smoking and sparking then you pull back about eight inches continually pushing or, or facing the uh, loof lighter on that area that you just started sparking. Now, this particular one gets up to 1200 degrees, so it won't take long for this to get lit. I like the handle too, it's, it's nice, and uh, the ergonomics of it is really, really good. So, you know, again, lighting this wood can be somewhat of a daunting task, but when you have a tool like this, you can cut that time in half. Take hold. Okay. So there we are. So this is awesome, YouTube. This is what it's all about, right? So very, very fast igniting. Uh, it's taken about two minutes to get to this point, but we have a full flame here. And what I don't know is if I pull it off, we can see, will it die down or will it stay? I'm gonna let it stay on there a little bit longer. Okay, we'll do the other side. So while we're doing the other side, let's listen to some tunes. I'll speed this up a little bit and then I'll close it out and let you know my final thoughts about this loof lighter.
Okay, we'll head on inside and start prepping our fish. But that is the Lufta lighter, um, and it seems to be pretty good. Definitely, we got two fires roaring, you know, so it's doing its job. We'll let these things ash over, head on inside, and start prepping our fish. Okay, YouTube, let's prep the fish. So what I'm going to do now is rinse both of the fish soft well, and then the plan is to remove all of the fins. So I want to remove the dorsal fin, I want to remove the top fin on top, and of course I want to remove the tail fins. So that's what you'll see me doing. I'll speed this up, and you'll see the process, but that's all we're doing now is removing every fin on the fish so those don't burn when they're cooking on the grill. signs of a very good fresh fish are the eyes so if you have beautiful pink eyes like you see here this fish is fresh okay all right so we pat it dry our fish on both sides now we're going to hit it with a little olive oil and start doing some cutting for our seasonings Now remember, we're gonna do butter uh, and things like that as a finish type garnish for this fish. But as far as uh, being able to hold the seasonings and things like that, we wanna hit it with olive oil. So we'll go heavy with olive oil on the inside and on the side of the fish. So for our seasoning, I have uh, more spice, a Creole seasoning. This is what we're gonna use on the outside of our fish and a little bit on the inside. Now this seasoning has a little kick to it. We will hit it on the outside. Here, on both sides. And I, I don't wanna go just heavy. Just wanna get it seasoned a little. I wanna do the end top. The same thing, both fish. Okay, and we'll do the other side. We'll hit it with olive oil. Good looking fish and the seasoning. Right over here and here. Okay. So we'll let these fish rest for a second. Next thing up, we'll be cutting fresh vegetables. So we have a
Okay, so our whole ears of corn will be very, very easy. You see I have six ears of corn. We'll just get those laid out. Let them start steaming. So easy enough for our corn. We'll just let that go. Okay. Our fish is ready to go on. Grab these two beautiful, beautiful fish. And get them on the grill. Fresh fish is such a treat. It's something that, you know, something that should always be enjoyed, again, with family and friends, but um, it, it's great stuff. So there we go. Now, we are doing the Santa Maria style cooking, so what I'm thinking about doing is bringing it down now to get a char, and then we'll raise it back up to get some uh, uh, of the indirect where it gets a chance to cook internally, so that's the plan. Okay, YouTube, time to flip the fish. Now, I flipped the first one already, so we're just going to give this a flip. And the next thing we're going to do is add our awesome herbal rub to this fish. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, YouTube, time to add the herbal rub. So that's what you see me doing now. We flipped the fish, and now we're adding that awesome herbal rub to this side of the fish. Now, from here, the only thing we'll do is continue regulating our temperatures by raising or lowering the grill grate. Now in this case I'm going to raise the grill grate up and let it kind of slow cook inside. Now what you'll see is more of that good smoke from the oak starting to infuse in the fish uh, later on through this video. But I just want to share that with you. This rub is going to be great. It's going to add a buttery herbal flavor to the striped bass that's just going to be great. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so our fish has been going for about five minutes on this side. I'm going to go ahead now and just raise up the, uh, the grill grate and let it kind of slow cook a little bit more. So that's what we want to do here. So what we're getting now is the smoke that is infusing the fish now. That is coming from the oak. So when you stoke the fire, that's when you get that beautiful, beautiful smoke that goes right into your fish. So bringing it down, I want to get a little bit more of that. That is absolutely wonderful. Awesome grilled flavor is what we're going to have here. Oak wood fish. We have an awesome flame going. Our striped bass is almost done. What I want to show you is just how beautiful it is coming along. Now, I'll leave this fish on for at least about 10 more minutes. Uh, I'm not going to flip it. Since I put this uh, glaze on top, I'm going to leave it like that because, of course, if I flip it over, I'll lose all of that awesome herbal uh, goodness that we put on top. So we'll leave it like that. And if anything, I'll add a little bit more and let it continue to caramelize into the fish. So you can see how beautiful this is. Now, as far as our corn, it's doing well also. Uh, I'll leave the corn on for maybe about 15 more minutes. Uh, I've been flipping it, so all I've been doing is rotating it by hand and uh, making sure it's kind of cooking evenly. So that's what we've been doing with the corn. It's starting to get tender. I feel it getting softer, so it's getting where it needs to be as well. So awesome, awesome cook tonight on a Tuesday. Uh, we'll continue to let that go as well. But I did want to show you this fish. Now what we'll do next is take you straight to the cutting board, show you our final product of this beautiful grilled bass. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you at the cutting board in a bit. Okay, YouTube, let's check out the final product. 
Look how beautiful our striped bass looks. Now, as you remember, this was an easy cook to do. We got all of our beautiful herbs together. Here's our steamed corn, I'm putting it right in the middle. This is gonna be flaky, savory, wonderful bass, okay? If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. You enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube. I thank you so much for joining me. Give this recipe a shot. You will not be sorry. Striped bass is tender, flaky, and succulent fish. So I know you'd love it. I want to show you the big thumbs up before we sign off. And I want to thank you again for joining me. You take care, YouTube.